Hello, welcome to Christ Center Gamer's video review and comparison of Fatal Fury First Contact. So what I have here is I have um, the Switch version of Fatal Fury First Contact, which I found out was a Neo Geo Pocket game. And also I wanted to compare it to its Neo, or direct Neo Geo predecessor, and this happens to be the PC version, of Real Bouts 2, the newcomers, Fatal Fury 2. So the reason I'm, I'm comparing these two is really for two reasons. One is they're about the same price on the eShop, well, $7.99, uh, and are both um, directly sequential to each other. Um, but one is on the Neo Geo, this one, and the very next game released by a direct Neo Geo platform, what, or SNK platform, is this guy on the Neo Geo Pocket. <clears throat> so I thought that might be helpful to compare them. Um, and also to kind of give you an idea of what to expect um, comparing these two different games. So I am playing the PC version because that's what I got. I got this on a Humble Bundle a long time ago. But um, the Switch version shouldn't be dramatically different. They're both outputting at approximately the same resolution. They're both basically the same game. Um, so hopefully it's not a major issue. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the sound now for um, the... PC version just to give you like a, a, a round of battle and you can kind of see what it's like. Um, I also wanted to sh do a shout out to J5Create. They sent us this JVA06 um, video and audio mixer device and it's really cool. <laughs> and I just found out a great use for it, this review. So here we go. Right, I'm going to turn on the sound right now. Okay, and so here we go. The newcomers. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some coins. Oh, wrong button. See, got to love streams. Okay. Insert some coins, and let's go ahead and start this. So I'm going to make this as similar as possible. I'm actually going to use the same characters, but I did want to point out that this is the button combinations. You have four buttons here, uh, whereas you don't necessarily have four buttons on a normal or on, on the Switch version, which you'll see in a second. So here's all the characters available. I'm just going to go ahead and pick Terry, because that's everyone's favorite. And I'll go fight against Andy, which is, again is a similar situation. I'm just using my Xbox controller here. And you can see this is one of the interesting things about Fatal Fury. I, honestly, I haven't played it much before I got sent this to review, so I don't... But you notice how he sidestepped me? And I can do the same thing. That's one of the unique features of this series that... Uh, I didn't even know it was was a part of it that made us makes it so interesting. But obviously the pixel art is very good. It was Neo Geo was always fantastic looking. Um, that is never not been the case. Neo Geo was so powerful and expensive, but certainly left an important mark on history in the '90s for sure. I used to love Samurai Showdown, and still do. And uh, this game is pretty solid. I mean, these these mechanics are definitely good. And hopefully I can not embarrass myself. Yep, I got barely one. Nice. Alright. And here we go. Let's see if I can win the second round. Yeah, see, so you just went back and so did I, right? So that's a pretty interesting fighting mechanic. As, you, as I said, you have four buttons. Punch, kick, um, a power, and, you know, dodge, or whatever you want to call it, the change layer. And uh, yeah, I, I am button mashing. I'll be the first to admit that. But uh, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. I haven't quite. Terry is a kicker overall, so I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between power and uh, and special. But I'm sure I'd figure it out if I spent enough time with it. But okay. So now that you've seen what a battle is like, I thought I would uh, go ahead and uh, we'll get out of this one. And I'll show you. Switch the sound as well, and switch the video. And here we are. Okay, so this is the scrolling intro of the Switch game. Or should I say Neo Geo Pocket game? I don't know. It's funny because you got options here, right? So you can change the display. You can uh, give it... Uh, where's the filter? There we go. Square filter or not. I prefer not, but some people like that. You can zoom in and out um, if you want to see you know, as much of the screen as you can. Or... Uh, want to be reminded you're playing this on a pocket emulator system. I prefer zooming out just a little bit, so it's mostly in there. Um, and then there's controls where you can set the A button. Um, 
and reset the system through the manual. Which is cool, I mean, you know, but... The one thing I was hoping to find and I could not find, um, I couldn't find a way to flip layers. So this one has a different kind of combat where you've got punch and kick is press, press A and B briefly and strong is hold them down. I don't think it's very long. It's just a little bit longer. It's kind of an interesting variation on it. And then you've got other commands on the right which are you know, jump switch is true of most of these games. Um, you know, break shot, evasion, attack, person A and B simultaneously in guard position. So that's kind of an interesting way to do it. Uh, yeah, so so that's that. Um, that's interesting. Different power levels. All these games have the power levels. I mean, I'm not, I don't claim to be an expert at this particular series by any means, but uh, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start this. You can kind of get an idea of the difference, uh, which is substantial. <laughs> So we're just going to do Terry versus Andy again. One thing I find funny is the confirm button on this is the opposite of the Nintendo. It's more like um, PlayStation or Xbox, which I find humorous. But there it is. Andy versus Terry. You get to see the difference. Does it look the same? It does not look the same. And here we go. So yeah, that's our kick and our kick button. Okay. Yeah, so there it is. And I get to do strong versus light attacks, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, they do make it pretty easy to do lots of specials, which is cool. Oh, man. You know, one thing that's always that's disappointed me ever since I started reviewing Neo Geo Pocket emulated titles in Switch, which Switch is a perfect system for that, obviously. I mean, there's really nothing else on the market that's even close. 3DS maybe, but why would you do that when you can have it on the big screen too? But the um, the, I mean, the music on Neo Geo Pocket is disappointing. I don't have an issue with Game Boy style music. I love Game Boy music. The problem is, is that this, the music isn't even as good as a Game Boy. Um, it doesn't have as enough as many sound you know on the screen or in play at once and stuff like that. Very simple. This is the simplest of simple MIDI. It's a real disappointment, in my opinion, for what the Neo Geo Pocket was. Obviously, graphically, it's way better. And CPU processing power, it's way better than a, than a Game Boy Color was. And it, you know, more colors on the screen, and you can kind of tell, but uh, clearly, the, all the thought that goes into all these moves, I mean, there's a lot of logic. And the 8-bit processor of the Game Boy Color would be interesting to see how well it could do compared to this. And, and I believe there actually were some fighting games from SNK on the Game Boy Color, but I never had a chance to play any of them. But overall, uh, you know, the, the, the mechanics are clearly solid in this. Um, there, there's a lot happening. And uh, it's pretty interesting. The mu uh, you know, I'm a big... For me, music means a lot. I, I know it sounds silly. Music and sound makes a huge impact on games for me. And I wonder how many games I would hate if I couldn't hear them. Because... <laughs> Or, or, or the opposite, or how many games I would like if I, you know, couldn't hear any games and therefore had, couldn't compare based on that. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely a big fan of, of you know, I, I have games that I don't know if I'd even like if I couldn't hear the music. I mean, it's just so incredible that uh, makes so much of a difference. But anyway, so yeah, um, I, I, have, I personally have a hard time with, with, with the quality of the music. In, in these Neo Geo Pocket games. Again, not the fault of the game necessarily, it's the system and what they did. But as you can see, I mean, the combat is interesting. I mean, there's two, there's something to it. There's definitely depth. I mean, they, you know, SNK is the masters of fighting games. I mean, they, they definitely, they've been doing this almost as long as everybody else, almost. And they certainly know how to make something mechanically sound. And uh, this game is certainly that. It's amazing what they managed to do with two buttons. And uh, it'd be, I, I, it would have been interesting. I wonder if it's possible to make larger characters on this small screen, you know, for them. If they could have, instead of making them chibi style, if it would have been possible for them to make them closer to arcade size. But then the playing field would have almost no space to move, so maybe that's the reason. This is a very low resolution screen, after all. 
it is interesting. But, uh, I mean, it's it's fun. I guess my main thing is, um, would I buy this? If I had $8 to spend on a fighting game on Switch, which is how much this costs, would I pick this over the Fatal Fury game I just showed you? Uh, which is also on Switch. The Switch eShop has been getting a fantastic amount of, of uh, Neo Geo or SNK fighters. And to me, the answer is no. I would pick the game I started with over this. I guess that's my main problem with these Neo Geo Pocket ones. On the other hand, there are complete there are completionists out there. There are people who, you know, maybe had a Neo Geo Pocket and always wanted to be able to play these games again. Or maybe, you know, had a Neo Geo or played lots of Neo Geo and just want to experience these unique, you know, hard to, hard to get games because um, the pocket I don't know how popular it was but I can't imagine it was super popular honestly a device like this would be a, a real good uh, candidate for like a mini remake you know like the Nintendo minis or whatever but then again well there was the Sega Master was it no it was the, it was the Game Gear remi uh, mini I think right isn't that what they made which is ridiculously overpriced and tiny and <laughs> ridiculous in many ways but I think this might be a good candidate for something like that because with large pixels, um, you know, being able to have hold it in your hand is half the magic of a portable system is making it you know, portable. But again, this is eight dollars, and that something like that would be what fifty? Who knows? So you know, it is what it is. Clearly, the emulation emulation is solid. One would hope, but it is. You'd be surprised. Something sometimes the things can turn out poorly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 a mechanically interesting fighter, um, and I'm surprised how much different it is than the last Blade, which is the last Neo Geo Pocket game I I, I, I reviewed. And uh, it's much faster, it's very fast pace, and just you know, Terry be kicking everybody. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good, you know. Like Last Blade had the parry mechanic where you push the both buttons at the same time, which this sort of has. We have to be guarding, so it's it's different. And the fact that I've won to the third round says something, I guess. <laughs> I don't usually win. I get to a point where I start losing. I'm sure that's coming soon. But it's uh, you know. It's not bad. Like I said before, would I pick this? Probably not. I would probably pick... Let's go ahead and switch over to this other guy. And I would pick this one. That, me. That's me. Um, I would pick this guy. Because there's just more smoother animation, you know, more to it, more pixels, more depth. You know, it's got the, the, the layers system working for it. It's an actual arcade game with all that, with all that entails. Personally, I would choose this one if I had to spend eight dollars on one fighter. But again, if you're, uh, you know, already played this to death because it's on everything. I mean, you can get this game on so many different platforms that maybe you already have this, and you, you know, you can't get that Neo Geo Pocket title anywhere else but on Switch right now, or going to buy old hardware. And you just got to see me lose, finally. Somebody got to see me lose. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, there's there's something to be said about that. That it's just, you can't get it anywhere else. You can't play it on your, you know, computer or whatever else. You know, these Neo Geo games have been on, you know, d consoles over the, over the years, for sure. Quite a few of them. And, of course, Nintendo Switch has them, too. But. So, I mean, you know, that's... All right, I'm evened it out. Final round. Well, yeah. The, oh, for, for those for those who didn't notice, uh, Terry is in Smash. One of the reasons I picked him. I haven't actually played Smash version of Terry yet. I don't think, but.
Interesting, this level doesn't seem to let me switch layers. Oh, he won. There you go, time for me to quit. Oh boy, I can't let you watch me lose. So, anyway. And... So, there we go. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, these are interesting games, and uh, you know, there's certainly historical aspect to it that's important. Um, but, uh, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. Is it a bad game? By no means. It's just there's a lot of competition for your money, and just think about what you want. If if you if you want to just experience a unique chapter in portable gaming history, then yeah, go ahead and you know get this one. It's there's not there, there's nothing like it out there, other than other you know Geo Pocket emulated titles that have shown up on the eShop. Um, but if you're looking for just a solid fighting game, you know you can do this, or you could do some of the other entries that I think are arguably uh, a better fit for modern tastes. But, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's just how these things go. So I hope that helps you. Um, as you see me eventually win or lose. Oh, time wrap. And I actually won. Look at that. Oh, three? I have to beat him, what, three times now? Surprise it's not... Uh, usually it's just twice. That's interesting. Do I have to beat him one more time or what? Huh. Maybe there's a Fatal Fury mechanic that I never noticed. <laughs> Cause I, I, I'm not really, you know... I was more of a Samurai Shodan guy in Neo Geo back in the day. So, uh, you know, always a good... I mean, Fatal Fury is great. It's interesting. It has some pretty interesting mechanics. I just never played it much. You know, there's a lot of... There's so many games to play in the world. You can never... No one person can play everything. <laughs> it's impossible. And, uh... No exception here. Come on, I gotta win. I won, yay! So, anyway. Alright. Oh, getting in the ring. Look at that. Now I gotta fight Billy now. Well, I think I'll just uh, take a break for this guy. But, uh, well, I hope that helps. And, uh, take care, and God bless. Happy New Year.